Start by cutting yourself an oval shape out of a piece of cardboard and get yourself a pin back. Then you're just going to want to glue the pin back to the center of the oval piece of cardboard. Once you've got that glued, you're just going to take a pointy object and poke the holes through the pin back, through the cardboard. Then take a needle and a thread and just sew the pin back right to the piece of cardboard to give it more stability so that it'll stay together when you want to open it up and wear it. And just tie off your thread and clip off the excess threads. And this will be hidden so you don't have to worry about it. So next take a stem of wheat that you've been soaking and you just want to take a pair of scissors and slice it down the center. Then just unfold it, take an iron and iron it out so that it stays flat. Do that to both sides of it. Then you're just going to hot glue it on your piece of cardboard and you can do that over the entire thing. Like this. So once you've got it covered, just take a pair of scissors and trim the flattened straws so that they're in the same shape as the oval brooch. Just like that. So next you'll take four straws without heads. You're just going to spread them out, leaving a gap in one side. You're going to take one straw and fold it into the gap. And take the one next to it, fold it into the gap you just made. And take the one next to it and fold it into the gap you just made. And take the one next to it and fold it into the gap you just made. So basically each time if you were spinning the weaving around, you'd be taking the straw to the left of whichever one you just moved. Obviously I'm not spinning it here, but if I were, I'd be taking the left hand straw each time. You just fold it into the gap. And you just keep going around, folding straws into the gap. And then when your weaving is long enough to fit around the oval, just take a piece of white thread and tie off the straws, and then cut off the excess. And then you just hot glue that weaving around the edges of the brooch. So then you'll take two more straws without heads, tie them together at the bottom, and spread them out. And then you're going to fold them over each other, keeping them at about a 45 degree angle. You just want to carefully fold them over. You want to make sure that you keep them under a 90 degree angle. It's definitely got to be under 90 degrees, otherwise it changes the shape of the weaving. So somewhere around 45 degrees is good. It doesn't have to be exact, but as best as you can get it. So once you've got that about 6 inches long, just cut off the excess straws and tie them off with a piece of white thread. And then you're just going to form a heart shape in the center of the brooch. Once you have it shaped the way you like it, just hot glue it right to the straw covered brooch. And you'll end up with this. And then if you want to personalize it, you can also use some of the puffy paint to put the initials in the center of the heart.